Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today, for our virtual make and take craft, I'm going to show you how to make a soap pump bubble painting. So for that, what you will need will be watercolor paints. You could also use food coloring if you wanted to. Clear glue. You will also need water. So it's just the watercolor paints, the glue, and the water. A measure, a tablespoon measuring spoon. A piece of, of stiff type paper, like cardstock. This happens to be watercolor paper. And then you will need, say, some foaming soap pump containers. So if you see these, these are the type of like containers where you, when you pump it, you get out like a foam, like a foaming type of soap. So as you can tell, I have color in each of them. So to make it, all you have to do is put a tablespoon of clear glue, so a tablespoon of the clear glue, and a tablespoon of water using this, and then you just add a little bit of your color into there. So we are gonna keep these in here. We are going to set aside our watercolor paints, our clear glue, clear glue and then put this to the side so it has it there and all we have to do is just lay out the the paper that you chose like the stiff paper that you chose and then you just pump this onto it so remember this is just glue and water and wool and watercolor paint like liquid watercolor paint but I want to show you if I can get it to cooperate because this particular one It's kind of annoying the the little plastic thing that pumps up the so the soap. It's on it's on the opposite. It's going this way while that's going that way. So it's a little it's a little bit more tricky to get the green to come out. But as you can tell, I'm kind of pumping the soap onto there. So let's get one. Uh, this one should should pump real well. Oh, look at that. So if you can tell. It's like, like a foam, as if it was actually soap and not. And I made a sample before, which is still a little liquidy, but I kind of wanted to show you. It foamed up, and then it will, like, and then it settles down, and it becomes just like a, like a painting, like a like a swirl type painting. Ooh, I've got a little bit of plastic stuck in my finger. So we're just going to be creative. Now for that one, the one, the original, the sample that I made, I had kind of like, I took the measuring thing and I, and I kind of swirled them all together so that all the colors melded. I think this time around, I'm just going to put random bits of color here and there on the page and let them all just float down settle down on their own. It's a little bit annoying, depending on the, the thing, if the pump, the bottom of the pump thing is not going the same direction as the, as the top, it makes it difficult for this stuff to come out. Particularly because you have more we have more um, not as much liquid, it's less liquid. If there was more liquid, it wouldn't be really an issue. Oh, this one, there we go. I'm kinda picking and choosing where we're gonna go with our colors. We don't really have as much yellow because it's harder, it's been a little bit more difficult to get the yellow out and put it where we want it. Alright, 
let's add a bit more of the red. It came out more pinky. But that is our soap pump bubble painting. So it will not stay puffy like this. It will eventually, like the bubbles will start dissipating and it will settle down and the, the liquid will dry on the page. But it takes a little bit of time. So I kind of wanted to show you with the other one, what like with the sample, what it possibly will end up looking like. And it's going to be different than every time you try it. And that's what I kind of like about this. It's just, it's abstract. It's, it's using supplies that you wouldn't necessarily use regularly to make art. It's more unconventional art form. So I hope that you enjoyed that. And I hope that it inspired you to make your own soap pump bubble painting. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone.